Hey everybody, I'm Jamie Scott Agutaya of JSA, and this is your monthly news headlines as quick as I'm gonna make them, hopefully. Here we go. Light path, an all fiber infrastructure-based connectivity provider that is revolutionizing how organizations connect to their digital destinations, completing its first steps in its long-term goals of network expansion. How so? Lightpath is the first all fiber enterprise grade connectivity provider to enter the Boston market in over 10 years. It's also expanding its growing network in the New York City metro area with over 100 miles of new high count fiber, all taking place first half of 2022. Moving over to edge infrastructure provider, Databank adding to its deep data center portfolio of over 60 data centers now, crazy, with plans to expand its presence further in the Denver market. The company just announced a land and building acquisition for its fifth Denver data center, Den5, to meet increased demand for critical IT infrastructure there. This news comes on the heels of Databank's expansion announcement of its Dallas Fort Worth data center, DFW3, which offers a game-changing option for companies in Plano, the fastest growing area within the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, adjacent to the region's telecom corridor. S7 Technology Group, an information technology service provider for the financial industry, now part of Thrive. Thrive acquired the Manhattan-based technology company that provides full service IT solutions and ongoing support to financial institutions. S7 offers comprehensive end-to-end -end framework, a zero partner status, laser focus on a private equity industry, all, uh, all while the transaction provides S7's clientele availability to Thrive's innovative cybersecurity, Microsoft Digital Transformation and Hybrid Cloud offerings built upon their ServiceNow automation platform. And in interesting related news, MSP industry vet Bill McLaughlin named Thrive's Chief Customer Officer to oversee the company's growing customer base and continue to drive more value, messaging, communication, and faster platform adoption to Thrive's customers. Also, additional exciting news coming from Prime Data Centers as the company announces further expansion into the Silicon Valley area. The new build to suit turnkey or powered shell facility located on Martin Avenue in Santa Clara, California, slated to begin construction this year. Exciting news. And I love this story. Google Cloud has honored Atos and Mavenway with the 2020 Social Impact Partner of the Year title. Really amazing title. How did they earn it? Four groundbreaking projects. So one, boosting telehealth adoption during the pandemic with Google Meet. Two, combating that opioid crisis with data. Three, ushering in economic recovery with virtual career centers. And four, flooding climate change with a net zero commitment. Really great story here, read more. Kelly Carrier commissioned a survey that reveals network security incidences are on the rise since the pandemic. The Telia Carrier Survey polled business leaders across several sectors in the US, UK, France, and Germany this quarter Q1 to reveal the current landscape of network security during the pandemic. A lot of really interesting findings came out of this report, including that 78% um, of leaders have responded to up to 100 network security incidences this last year alone. 68% reported that their company has experienced a DDoS attack in the last 12 months. Some great findings, go ahead and click here for more. And in other European news, Server Farm has welcomed Jacqueline Staman to the company's leadership team. Staman is a respected leader, of course, in the infrastructure and data center space. He will now serve as Server Farm's Vice President of Co-Location Europe, congrats. Over to Asia Now, Redline Communications Group has been selected to provide private LTE product and service solutions to support high tech in establishing networks for defense, utilities, municipalities, factories, and more in Japan. And another really impressive add on to that list of industry awards Light River has been accruing lately. Light River announced this week that it has been selected as a semi finalist for the 2021. Pipeline Innovation Awards in the Customer Experience category for its new Alien Aware Networking Solution. Congrats, guys. Stream Data Centers, of course, an industry leader in delivering exceptional data center experiences to global enterprises, 
also announcing a new hire to its growing leadership team. Now serving as Stream's new SVP of Design and Construction is Teho Kiripati, a highly experienced technical builder who spent the past eight years directing teams across an array of data center developments, and now he will be set to guide mission-critical construction processes for Stream. And one last bit of amazing awards to recognize here, Comstar Technologies CFO Octavio Diaz has been named CFO of the Year honoree by the Philadelphia Business Journal. This prestigious award recognizes the top 18 Philadelphia-based CFOs for outstanding financial leadership, but not only over the past year, but throughout their careers. So congrats, Octavio. That's a wrap, guys, for your monthly news headlines, as quick as we can make them. I'm Jamie Scott Akutai of JSA. As always, stay safe. Happy networking.